वेलकम बैक टू आंसलरी फिजिक्स थ्री इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज कैपेसिटर्स सम ऑफ इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट फ्यूचर्स देन वी विल सी द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर कैपेसिटेंस इन अ पैरेलल प्लेट capacitor earlier to that we will discuss the principles of capacitor let's directly go to the lecture so what we have to discuss today is capacitors so in electronics there are devices components that consumes energy and there are certain other components that stores energy capacitor is one such component which stores energy another component is inductor see so capacitor is an energy storage element which means it can store energy what kind of energy it can store electrical energy it consisting of two plates capacitor that consisting of two parallel plates it's like assume that this is one plate and this one is other plate the entire system this composition of two parallel plates two plates which are put near to each other this setup is called capacitor so here this is plate a and this is plate b and this plates a and b will never touch with each other they are separated always these plates are <coughs> these plates are separated always it will never touch with each other these two plates will never touch with each other actually see this is separated by a medium this is separated by an medium that medium is called dielectric medium separated by a medium it is called dielectric it may be air separation or some solid materials may be placed between this here one point is that these plates are usually they must be conducted they must be conductors so these plates these parallel plates a and b are conductors now if we apply potential between these if we apply potential between these two plates then it will be getting one side is getting positively charged other side is getting negatively charged so that a potential will be created 
between these plates potential v will be created when we apply power supply right when we apply voltage external power supply to these two plates then there will be a potential created between this that we can denote v so it will be created how it is created in general this concepts can be understood in the following way see earlier we have studied that we are having an isolated if you are having an isolated conducting material suppose if we will apply electric field in this direction what will happen the free charges within this conducting material will be getting aligned in such a way that positive charges are aligned one side negative charges are aligned another side so that suppose if this is an input field no let's say the field from outside outer field if this is an internal field now this external outer field is equal to internal field but in opposite direction so that they are cancel with each other cancel with each other so that net charge within this conducting material is zero we said uh sorry net uh, net electric field within this conducting material is zero so field within this material is zero suppose if we have a material which is of dielectric nature you know we said just earlier that these two parallel plates are separated by a medium which is essentially a dielectric that could be air or some solid materials let us consider one such solid material it is said to be dielectric how would we differentiate a material who said to be dielectric from a material who said to be conductor we can differentiate the following way see suppose if we apply an electric field as like in this case to this material what will happen here dielectric materials are essentially insulated so that there is no free charges here so charges are very less so they cannot align entirely positive charges are on one side and negative charges on other side rather there is a local alignment would have been possible that is it in a molecular level it will align in a way like that assume that these are the molecules here it will align like this positive negative positive negative positive negative like this it will align <clears throat> here you can see that all the charges are aligned in the left side while here all positive charges are locally aligned in the left side of individual molecules while the negative charges are aligned in the right side it is locally aligned hence the field inside will not equal to the field outside here this happens both are equal so that e not in one direction e n in another direction so difference becomes zero in this case but here e not one direction which is greater than e n in other direction so that e not minus e inside not i n not e n it is i n inside as this value is lower than this value it is not equal to zero so these materials and these alignments 
how it happens it happens like this so essentially the field within and the material is not going to be zero <coughs> now if we put an conducting plate like this so this is a dielectric medium and these are a and b are conducting plates what would happen in the molecular level plus charges will be aligned here minus charges will be aligned this side so in that way what will happen is essentially one side will be accumulated by negative charges other side will be accumulated with positive charges on the plates so this is the reason why because in in the inner side the plate in this case this inner side the plate would have uh, you know this side it will be positive charges because inner side all would have negative charges to counter counteract for this positive charge inner side of the plate will have negative charge while the outer side of the plate will have positive charge right here you see there is a negative so inner side of the plate would have a positive charge the outer side would have a negative charge so outer side will always you know in this case it all negative charges so that one side positive charge other side negative charges will be created so in this way when it happens it become the capable of storing energy in the storing energy here energy is nothing but the charges q right if this happens there is a potential difference created between these two plates there is a potential difference created between these two plates when we apply on the full charge when we apply supply to this uh, capacitor on full charge now the potential difference between these plates so potential there will be there will be a potential difference that will be created between the plates there will be a potential difference between the plates which will be right now see this potential difference will be maximum right which means the accumulated stored charges charges are high when when the area of the plate is high these charges are high when the area of the plate is high another case this charges are high when the distance between the separation of two plates that we can term as d if this distance is small then the number of charges that can be stored within these two conducting plates will be high and this charges essentially we can say q this charges q will be high if the applied voltage is high okay which means the charge q that is stored within the uh, parallel plates uh, that is directly proportional to the area and it is inversely proportional to the distance and it is directly proportional to the voltage right so 
the amount of charges stored in the parallel plate this parallel plates between these parallel plates that are depending upon the area of the plate and the distance of separation between the two plates and the third one is applied voltage and here these charges are directly proportional to area that means if the area is high <coughs> area is larger then the quantity of charges that can be stored within this uh, plates are high the distance is shorter then you can have larger uh, charges and if you apply more potential i mean more supply to the uh, plates then we could uh, able to store more charges so from this from this we can deduce and quantity called the capacitance you know we said the capacitor can store energy right this is denoted in the term called capacitance a capacitor can store energy that can be expressed in terms of capacitance which is denoted by the letter c it is positive always which means it can either store energy or it doesn't have any energy right if you so capacitance can be denoted by c in the letter and which is always positive this capacitance can either be some value that is the plate uh, uh, between these plates there is a charge accumulated or if we have short circuited uh, the air you know this side to this side then it will be neutralized then there will be no charge so c can be zero or c can take some positive value but it can never take negative value fine now we can define the equation for this capacitance as which is equal to q times no, q divided by v why one way we can relate it to that the charge will be high if the applied voltage is high if you take the ratio that will give you the value capacitance okay here the charge that is denoted by the unit coulomb while the voltage is denoted by the unit volt you can see you can say that the capacitance in terms of coulomb per volt r we can denote it by the unit farad we are discussing about capacitors and we have deduced the equation for capacitance as c that is equal to q by v this equation unit is farad i am going to give you some simple idea to remember this equation always let us have a permit for this equation if you remember this permit you would never forget this equation you can draw this equation in the following way qcv right that is question of curriculum vt question of curriculum vt 
Q C V. You remember like this. Now, whatever the quantity you want, suppose you want an equation for C. What is remaining? Q divided by V. So if you want to write the equation for C, you can write Q divided by V that you can write. Suppose if I want Q. If I want Q, what are that? C multiplied by V. Right? Suppose if I if I want V, so I can write Q divided by C. In that way, whatever the relation you want for capacitors that you can deduce. If you remember this formula triangle with a short form question of you know with the quote question of curriculum we take okay will it be useful i hope so fine now let's have a formal definition for farad we said farad is an unit for the capacitors in that case what is 1 farad what is 1 farad see here capacitance is measured in terms of farad now we want the definition for 1 farad that is capacitance of a capacitor which requires one coulomb of defined as the capacitance of a capacitor which requires one coulomb of charge to create a potential difference of 1 volt between the plates right in order to see assume a situation assume a, uh, a parallel plate of parallel plate of conductors that constituted a capacitor in that there is a situation where it requires one coulomb of charge to create one volt potential difference between the plates if this is the case then for that capacitor the capacitance is Said to be one farad, right? Now this statement was given by Michael Faraday. You should be very careful about the spelling. Last year, one student has written Michael Friday, right? I said. if you write again then it will be your fire day right so we have to be very careful about the spellings so this statement for one farad was given by michael faraday so it is denoted in the name of the scientist who has given the definition but this value farad will be high it is a high value normally uh, we are not uh, experiencing uh, this much bigger value in our electronic circuits so that we define some other smaller values generally we have microfarad picofarad if you are going for some electronics components then it will be on microfarad or picofarad if you are having a ceiling fan in your home you just open the top just above the motor you know just above the body there will be a cup open it there you can find a capacitor 
there is a cylindrical material will be present which you can locate that is nothing but capacitor you try to find out what is the capacitance pointed there it will be some microfarad when you are opening an electronic circuits within that there will be two types of capacitors uh, uh, you could notice one is like a tablet other is like a smaller size uh, cylinder uh, cylinder type components that you can encounter those are capacitors of two different types one is called a ceramic that is the tablet type is called a ceramic while this uh, uh, cylindrical type is said to be polyester type now this ceramic or polyester these categories are based on the dielectric materials which is used to fabricate this uh, capacitors well in all this you could able to notice that the units will be given in microfarad if you are considering the ceiling fan or picofarad if you are looking for an electronic components which are lower than the defined value farad this you can write in terms of farad as 10 to the power minus 6 farad this you can write 10 to the power minus 12 farad these are the commonly available commonly used uh, capacitors in practice well you know earlier we said this capacitance will be depending upon the area and and the distance separating these two plates we can deduce an equation with that too right and we can write an equation for capacitor that is directly proportional to the area and inversely inversely proportional to the distance and you have to include one more point that is if we are having a capacitor it has a parallel plates also there is something filled between these plates that we have denoted dielectric materials for every dielectric material each material will have a different property based on the property of the dielectric material the amount of charge that can be stored in this capacitor will vary so we have to incorporate this material property that material property can be incorporated in the terms of permittivity epsilon so that that you can include here if the material has higher permittivity then it would able to store more charges when the material has the lower permittivity it has the lower amount of charges can be stored in this in that way you can say that c is equal to epsilon a d see you can put simply epsilon if the medium is air if the medium is solid you can include relative permittivity epsilon or with that so let us confine this equation with these three terms permittivity of the dielectric medium area of the plates conducting plates distance of separation okay and again let me recall the value of the epsilon is 8.84 into 10 power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter or faraday per meter this constant we have been encountered from the class 1 onwards try to remember these constants which are very important you know instead of air we are having different materials uh, let me point out some of the materials and their dielectric sorry and their value of permittivity you know you know that the permittivity of air is equal to uh, the permittivity of vacuum that is 1.0 now if you are considering paper normal paper that would have the permittivity 2.5 to 3.5 and if you are having glass it will have the permittivity 3 to 10 if you are having 
mica it will have the permittivity between 5 to 7 okay so it implies that solid materials have higher permitty than vacuum or air so if we use some solid materials within this instead of air medium then we could enhance uh, the amount of charges that we could be able to store that is the point here and you see this material solid materials which are having higher permittivity now this is denoted with a parameter called dielectric constant a parameter called dielectric constant k dielectric constant that will give an idea a quantitative idea about how much this solid material having higher permittivity than the vacuum so essentially the k is the ratio of the permittivity of the dielectric material dielectric solid material to the you know it's nothing but the permittivity of the dielectric solid material divided by so that you can write here it is small k permittivity of the vacuum you can say that k which is permittivity of the medium ratio between the permittivity of the medium to the permittivity of the air or vacuum right fine this this uh, we can denote in other term relative permittivity relative permittivity we can say that epsilon r which is nothing but the capacitance of the material medium to the capacitance of the air medium that you can denote by relative permittivity which is a constant and it, it it do not have any unit it is dimensionless relative permittivity so so these are the things about the material medium and their permittivity and all okay so you can if you are asked to write dielectric constant you can you need to write or if you are asked to write relative permittivity that also you need to explain fine we shall discuss about the principles of a capacitor. Principle of a capacitor. That is how capacitor works. We will see in a nutshell. Let us say you know capacitance of a capacitor increase appreciably when an earth 
कंडक्टर ब्रॉट नियर टू इट ओके द कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ अ कैपेसिटर इंक्रीज अप्रिसिएबली वेन एन एर्थ कंडक्टर ब्रॉट नियर टू इट दिस इज द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल अंडरलाइंग and the capacitance action but let's see how it happens let us consider a capacitor sorry let us consider a conducting conducting plate a a is a conducting plate and this conducting plate a which is charged now which is charged now assume that it has positive charges this plate has positively charged now suppose if we bring another conductor conductor b it's a plate it has a thickness something like this and this plate is brought near to plate a and this plate is also charged now what will happen you know not charged it's a conducting plate what will happen there are uh, free charges here and there like this all these charges will align in such a way that the inner part of the plate that is in this plate the face which is facing the plate a that will have negative charges while the face which is not facing the plate a that is the opposite side that will be aligned with positively charged okay and this is what we have told already if this happens then there will be a potential difference created between these two plates now you see the potential at a the potential at a will be decreased considerable amount because of this negative charges in the plate b due to negative charge and v at a will be increased due to the positive charges present but these positive charges present in b which are uh, located in the further distance from the plate a when compared with the negative charges because negative charges are present in the face that is facing the plate a right ne negative charges are uh, present in the face which are facing the plate a while the positive charges are in the opposite face so that which one is dominating the negative charges are dominating so that the potential after placing the plate b will be <clears throat> lesser than that of the potential initially present in the plate a when there is no plate b is uh, placed here so that even though this plus will contribute for the increase of potential but the net effect will be decrement in the potential in this situation if this side is grounded all these will vanish so it will further decrease the potential present in the plate right now you can write the equation for uh, 
capacitance which is nothing but this you can write c equal to q by v now this v is decreasing means what happens the amount of charge stored in this capacitor will be increased when the v decreases q will increase right so that the capacitance of a capacitor increase appreciably when an earth conductor brought near to it right that is you see if v decreases then the ratio between q and v will be higher so that c will be higher so this is uh, a, a very simple principle of capacitor this lecture we have seen the basics of capacitors we have defined what is farad we have defined the equation for capacitance and we have dis discussed about the role of permittivity relative permittivity and several other terms like uh, dielectric constant etc so with this let us conclude let us conclude this lecture and we will resume back in the next lecture thank you